Welcome friends to another video from the computing assistant and today we are going to talk about the various personal computing devices and the trends in the industry of the personal computing devices and the point towards where the industry is headed. So let's get started. So first of all I would like all of you to watch a video of Steve Jobs. Is the tablet going to be eventually replace the laptop do you think? There are a lot of people who say well you'll never do content creation on it for instance. Talk about what you think where it's going, not just the iPad, but the tablet itself as a, as a form. We were an agrarian nation. All cars were trucks because that's what you needed on the farm. But as, car, as vehicles started to be used in the urban centers and America started to move into those urban and then suburban centers, cars got more popular and innovations like automatic transmission and power steering and things that you didn't care about in a truck as much uh, started to become paramount in cars. And now, probably, I don't know what the statistics are, maybe one out of every <clears throat> 25 vehicles, 30 vehicles is a truck, where it used to be 100%. Uh, PCs are going to be like trucks. They're still going to be around. They're still going to have a lot of value, but they're going to be used by one out of X people. So in the video you just saw, Steve Jobs gave us a glimpse of what was going to happen in the personal computing industry. Well, computers or more specifically the personal computers have had the largest impact on human beings in the technology revolution and they have inarguably changed the way we live and interact with information to the extent that they rule us and the world of information today. Well, the earlier computers were large complex and power hungry machines that were only available to the big corporations, the universities, the military services and the government agencies. The democratization of computing power began with the development of personal computers. So to address those problems, the first desktop computers came into being. Well, the desktop computers were easy to use, were less power hungry and could sit at a very small table in your home. And that gave a remarkable power to the general masses to access information to interact with computing technology and develop apps and software that were particular to their needs. So the desktop computers changed the way we lived and how we interacted with the information and we accessed it. But after some time it was being felt that portability was a very major hurdle in the use of computers. So to overcome that hurdle, the laptop computers were developed. They were portable, were less power hungry so they could run on battery power and they required no setup experience like you could just pull it out of the bag and can start using it. Which was not the case with the desktop computers. So that, that gave a very huge popularity uh, in the masses for the laptop computers. Slowly and steadily, the laptop computers became thinner and were becoming more and here. more efficient in terms of power consumption and processing power and also the processors that were coming to the laptop computers were comparable to those available at the desktop computer side. But soon it was felt like uh, a mo some more portability, some more features and some more access points were needed to address most of the other issues and the very idea to be able to carry some computing power in your pockets gave birth to the first smartphones. So what the smartphones did was that they increased the portability of computing power and they enabled much more features like for example GPS and a smartphone camera are one of the main features that we use the smartphones for and this led to the development of applications that were never possible on a laptop computer and which didn't have a use case on a laptop or a desktop computer. Also, what happened was that the smartphones gave a use point and the access point to a large section of the general population that had been not touched by the computing revolution till now. With the advent of smartphones, uh, internet penetration became global and, and by global I mean it penetrated in the, in the remotest areas of the world and in the underserved communities. The smartphones changed the personal computing industry forever and after some time it was re realized that there might be a window between the smartphone and the laptop computers because as we know the screen size of a smartphone is a limitation for many tasks. So some use cases like web browsing, uh, multimedia and reading books were need to be addressed. So soon among those population the tablet computers gained popularity 
and they were limited to a particular use case but they have improved ever since and and they have also become very much popular in fact they have surpassed the sales of the laptop computers in the past year so this graph from statista shows the sales figures of desktop pcs laptops and the tablets you can see that the tablets have overtaken the laptops and the laptops have overtaken the pcs in 2019 the combined sales of the desktop pcs the laptops and the tablet computers were around 560.8 million units and the smartphone sales figure were more than 1.5 billion units so you can see that portability and all the factors that we discussed these became the main selling points of the personal computing devices as time passed also also as more and more population has got the access to the smartphones even the smartphone sales have become uh, stagnant and the growth rates in many markets have started declining uh, bearing a few major exceptions like india where the smartphone market is still huge a uh, large population still needs to be served but the main thing is that overall in case of the world scenario people are not upgrade upgrading their smartphones as much and a lot of companies have come into the market and there have been a flood of different models of the smartphones so the competition is becoming more and more and also the profit margins are declining people are not upgrading their smartphones uh, as fast as the companies expect them to and as the smartphones are becoming more and more good in terms of their processing power in terms of their longevity so what is happening is that there is no need to upgrade and this has also been one of the major factors in the declining growth rates of the smartphone sales so what will be the future trends well i would say that the ar glasses or the augmented reality glasses will be the next big thing in terms of the personal computing devices like they will be much more portable even compared to the smartphones you can just wear them and enjoy all the content that you want to but still the desktops the laptops the tablets and the smartphones will be around forever until and unless their use case completely stops for example the desktop pc sales had been declining for a long time but then the use case of gaming and gamers who needed much more processing power better graphics and better controls over their devices and this has been developing in many more markets like in the developing countries as the internet penetration becomes much more so the need for these particular gaming oriented devices will increase and the same thing goes with the laptops they are improving year by year and there are many use cases that you know, satisfy the need for a laptop so that's all for today's video let me know in the comments what are your views about the personal computing industry and what will be the newer types of devices that we are going to see in the future also do check my instagram account i have given the link in the description if you have any tech related queries or about tech products or any sort of tech related discussion we can have it on the instagram and message me and i will be sure to follow so thank you for watching